As we begin today's ceremony, let me introduce several Belmont dignitaries in attendance, each of whom have worked with Rick Bird. Belmont University President Dr. Bob Fisher, who has served as University President since April of 2000 and spearheaded construction of the Curb Event Center. Former Belmont University President Dr. Bill Trout, who served as University President from 1982 to 1999, helped hire Rick Bird and led Belmont's transition from NAI to NCAA Division I. Former Belmont Athletic Director Ken Sidwell, the Dean of Belmont Athletics and Belmont Hall of Famer, served as the program's first full-time athletic director as well as basketball and baseball coach. <laughs> Former Belmont Athletic Director Jamie Tillman, another Belmont Hall of Famer and baseball student athlete who served as athletic director from 1994 to 1996. Former Belmont Athletic Director Mike Strickland, Belmont Hall of Famer who served as athletic director from 1996 to 2016 and navigated Belmont's transition to national prominence and conference membership in the Atlantic Sun and Ohio Valley. Current Belmont Athletic Director Scott Corley, Belmont Hall of Famer who was Coach Bird's first recruit and has served as athletic director since May 2016. At this time, please direct your attention to the Bruin Vision video boards. How do we begin to express how much you mean to us? You embody the ideals of our university and our growing city. Gracious and accessible, fearless and passionate, you led us to victory in college basketball cathedrals took us to heights few could have ever imagined. Pull up jumper, yes sir! Got it! He got it! It's four game in Dayton, Ohio between Belmont. They should be happy. Everybody should be happy. Through it all, your priorities never change. Recruit men of character. Encourage along the way. Watch them graduate. And become leaders themselves. For the wins, the championships, they tell only part of the story. Your legacy lives on through the players you've coached, the lives you've impacted, the university you've inspired. Thank you, Coach Bird. And please welcome Belmont University President, Dr. Bob Fisher. Thank you. First, let me one more time ask you to give a really warm welcome to my predecessor in this job who hired Rick Bird, who made the decision to go to Division I NCAA from NAI, which was a crazy decision. He made it, it worked. Please, Carol Trout up in the box and Bill Trout, let's give them a welcome home to Belmont. So, So Rick, we're here to honor you today. You're, you have given so much more to this university than you ever took. And this today is one more time for all of us to say to you, we want to give back to you for all you've done for Belmont. Nobody at Belmont in my time here has exemplified the values of Belmont, of integrity, of teamwork, of humility more than you. And it shows in these players, it shows throughout our university, it's the legacy, not just for sports, but for our whole university. And today, we just want to honor you and having your name on this court, every time the rest of us come out here, that's your legacy is the bar is up here on those items. So thank you, Coach Bird. We're so proud and grateful for all you've done for Belmont. Thank you, Dr. Fisher. At this time, please welcome Belmont Athletic Director Scott Corley. Thank you. 
Thank you, Dr. Fisher, for those great words. Uh, I don't know if y'all heard it, but I had the pleasure of knowing Coach Bird now for 34 years. I was fortunate enough to be his first recruit and got to play four years under him. Uh, and then, by blessing, I got to be his athletic director in his final three years of his career, 30 years later after from when I played for him. And so, Coach, this has been an amazing journey, and I have a unique perspective, and I, I still can't believe how far you took this program from a, a struggling NAIA program to one of the finest Division I programs in the entire country. And I am so excited that I can speak on behalf of all the former players. We are so excited that Belmont is honoring you in two ways today. Uh, first way is the Rick Bird Endowed Scholarship. Uh, and then obviously the court naming today. And it's a wonderful way uh, for your name to live on generations to come. And for those generations to truly understand what you meant to Belmont and the impact you've had on this athletic program and this university. Um, you know, when I'm going to look at this court, I'm going to see four words are going to come to mind. Excellence. You strive for excellence in everything you did, whether it was from designing a play, a practice, to how you represented yourself in speaking engagements, et cetera. Uh, integrity. You never cut corners, coach, and I really respected that about you, and you never, you never took the easy way in a profession where it could have been easy to do. Um, winning. You're a winner. I mean, we look at the championships on the banners up there. We look at the success of this program, the expectations. You created a winning culture. So I'm going to remember winning. And then lastly, just the word impactful. When I look at this court and I see all the former players, I see all the colleagues, all the people that you touched, you had an amazing impact on them. And there's no greater legacy that a coach could have than leaving a positive impact on people. And so. I can't say enough how excited I am and just so happy and congratulations on this wonderful honor to have the court named after you, Coach. So with that, let's get this, let's get this banner pulled. Can I get a drum roll, please? Coach, have at it. I'd be happy for any of these guys to do this for me right now. Uh, I'm gonna disagree with Dr. Fisher. Uh, and I really, every, every, everybody that I played for me knows that I was gonna start crying pretty quickly, but uh, <laughs> you talked about the impact and uh, how much I learned from the people I worked with and for and the everyday people that come to Belmont and strive to make this university as good as they can make it. And the young, the young men that I got to coach, people I coached with, I took far more than I gave. So thank you. Okay, let's don't, let's don't cry, let's don't cry anymore. Uh, the women's team is over there, is that right? Yeah. Y you all just made my court the only undefeated court in the country. Thank you. Uh, my court. <laughs> That's what it says. <laughs> uh, Anyway, uh, thanks to Dr. Fisher, Scott, anybody else who had a, a part in, in making this decision. Uh, but going back to the women's team and Bart Brooks, if he keeps winning games and championships, you guys are gonna cover this thing up pretty soon and put Bart Brooks on here because 
they're doing great. Um, I can't, I can't go. There's, there, there's so many people that come into play when, when a basketball coach or anybody else gets anything accomplished. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna thank groups of people, and I'd really start crying if I started thanking individually. Um, I want to thank my family. I got everybody here. Uh, my grandson Grant even wore one of my sweater vests, if y'all can get a good look at him. It's back when I was, was a little smaller. Uh, but families just give up so much, sacrifice so much for coaches to be successful. And there's so much appreciated. The athletic leadership that's here, Dr. Trout and Kenny Sidwell uh, took a chance on me and, and, and it, it changed my life. <laughs> uh, It's nice for y'all to clap when I'm in the middle of crying. It helps, uh, but it did. And I, and I learned so much from the leadership of these men right here. Uh, and, 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 and they have had a big part in helping all this Division I success go on. The athletic staff, the family of the athletic department and all the work that the people there do and the quality of the people in that department and how they go about doing their work every day. And I could extend that to the entire university staff. So many people do so much, so well, that I, I'm just a part of that and, and thankful and grateful to be a part of that. I'm trying to think of my different groups I wanted to thank. The, the, the fans, all of you, look how many people are here. You, you must have thought something else was going on between the games. But, we, we played a Division I game at Aquinas Junior College that has three rows on both sides and we didn't fill it up. And, and we have the best and have had for 15 years in two different conferences, student section in, the, in both of those conferences. And I'm gonna thank those of you who are here on behalf of the other 15 years worth of kids that have stood right there and helped us. And, and the loyalty of this side of the people that come game in and game out, that understand the game of basketball, and frankly, that show tremendous sportsmanship on behalf of Belmont University. I appreciate you so much. Thanks, Scott. The, I have had, I was here 33 years. I had to have almost the minimum number of assistant coaches that you could have. I had loyalty, I had great coaches. Uh, this wouldn't be here uh, without them. Assistant coaches get far less credit than they deserve. Uh, and, and we've had the best and I can't even begin to thank them and appreciate them like I should. So maybe you all can do that for me. But most importantly, by far, and I've said this when, when Dr. Fisher told me and, and when they made the announcement, in my mind, the court ought to be full of the players' names because they're the ones that work hard, that win games, that win championships, that win NCAA tournament games. The, the players are responsible for my name being here. And, and don't think that I don't know it and remember it every day. And I appreciate you guys more, more, more than I can obviously say. Uh, I'm almost through. I'm almost through. I got one. I got one. Thanks. I did. 
the, the term honor and privilege is, is um, used a lot. This honor is more than I can tell you how much is appreciated myself and my family. Um, unless Bart keeps winning, this is gonna be here for a long time. And, uh, and, and Greg may be able to bring his kids here and show them uh, the name on the court. Uh, but it was a privilege to represent this school and the people that are here and to work alongside the people that are here at Belmont and to have these guys represent this university was a blessing every day. Thank you all very, very much. Ladies and gentlemen, head coach Rick Bird.